This is the second of two punishment videos. If you want to watch the first one, though it will probably be much lower in quality, you can do that by clicking my face right now. Hi camera, this is the second of my two punishment videos as I just stated. I'm going to make a five minute video in which I talk about politics, which I hate. I hate talking about politics on this channel. I try to avoid it at all costs, and so mm, this isn't going to be fun. Not even a little. This will be very not fun. Anyway, I have written down a list of some political issues that I consider important, and I'm going to just talk about them until I've spent enough time talking about them that I don't have to anymore, because I really, really don't like talking about politics. Okay, the first issue I wrote down was same-sex marriage. Or marriage equality, whatever you want to call it. The fact that two people who love each other and are both of consensual legal age to get married are not able to do so annoys me to no end. People will say things like, it's unnatural. Marriage is unnatural. That there's no purpose to the marriage because they can't have kids. Plenty of opposite sex couples can't have kids and are still married fully legally. That the Bible says it's wrong. Whether or not the Bible talks about it, I really don't care because we don't base laws off of religion in this country. And they'll say that same-sex marriage will destroy the sanctity of marriage. I would point out that people said the exact same thing about interracial marriage. People say that children raised by same-sex couples aren't going to be as healthy. Study after study has shown that children of same-sex couples are not at any significant disadvantage to children of opposite-sex couples, and some even show that they have an advantage. So can we just, like, put it to bed that marriage equality should be legal in all 50 states? And if you don't think that, could you just please go down below this video and unsubscribe to me because I don't want you around me? Ever? The next issue I wrote down is pro-life versus pro-choice. Thanks, Eric, for leaving me a really controversial issue to talk about. For anyone who doesn't know already, pro-life people believe that abortion should be completely illegal because you're killing a fetus, and pro-choice people believe that it should be a woman's choice whether or not she has an abortion. Pro-life people will often say things like, the baby loves you. The baby in question is a cluster of cells that is not yet capable of intelligent thought. What if the next great scientific discovery is in the mind of that baby and now we'll never have it because you killed it? What if that great scientific discovery is in the mind of a teenage girl who won't be able to bring it to the world because she won't be able to go to school because she's too busy raising a kid she had too early? It's your fault for getting pregnant, so you should have to live with the responsibility. Some woman's birth control fails. Some women were sexually assaulted. And you can't punish them for those things. Especially not with a child they don't want and can't afford. Some women will die if they give birth to those children. They will actually die during childbirth. Their life is in danger, and they need to have the abortion to save their life. Are you honestly telling me that you would rather save a not-yet person than a fully developed, existing, right-now person? If you are saying that, again, just unsubscribe. I really hate talking about this, so I'm gonna change subject. The next thing I wrote down was gun control. Well, thanks. This is just great. The basic problem with gun control is that a lot of legislators and citizens want there to be heavier background checks and screenings before you can buy a firearm in this country. A lot of other people say that this would infringe on their Second Amendment rights. For anyone not familiar with the Second Amendment, it basically says that citizens have the right to bear arms in case they need to uprise against a tyrannical government, like kind of what happened with the Revolution. No one is trying to take away your guns. The guns that you already own are safe. They are yours, you own them legally, and unless you do something really, really illegal to, like, really screw up, they're gonna stay yours. They're just saying that it would be nice if we had background checks before you bought a gun so that someone couldn't, say, walk into, like, a Walmart, buy a rifle and a whole lot of ammo, and shoot up a school, as has happened many times in recent history. And also, no citizen needs military-grade assault rifles! You just don't! Way too much pressure is put on the students. Teachers aren't paid nearly well enough for what they do. Schools are funded based on test scores, and so there's a lot of pressure on schools for their students to get high grades on those tests. As a result, they don't really teach us how to, like, learn stuff and prepare us for the world ahead of us. They teach us so that we pass the test and the school gets enough funding to, like, stay afloat. It's bad. I think I can get by with just doing one more. Maybe. The next thing I wrote down was stand your ground. Stand Your Ground is a law stating that any time you believe your life is in danger, you have the right to use deadly force. I live in North Carolina, where we luckily do not have a law like Stand Your Ground. The reason Stand Your Ground is bad is because you can shoot people and basically get away with it. That's bad! If I haven't talked enough to fill a video at this point, I just give up. Do diddly do 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 Thank you. That is all. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.